So by now, hopefully you've had a bit of a fly around with the drone and you've got comfortable with the controls. So now let's walk you through how to attach a payload to the AeroPro. So the AeroPro has a max safe payload of one kilogram. When you are starting out and just getting used to flying with payloads, we do recommend starting with something lighter and easing your way up. So today we'll be using a water bottle as our payload, which weighs about 500 grams. And we've got our payload attachment cable and our carabiner. It's important to ensure that your payload's always hanging two meters below the drone to minimize any swinging or stress that you're putting on the drone. All right, now so to attach our payload, we're gonna flip the drone over so we've got the bottom of the drone here. In the middle here is where we're gonna attach our line or cable. And now we ran through this earlier in the tutorial, but on the bottom right here of the drone, we've got our quick attach button. So if we press this, the release pin's gonna open and close. So let's have a look at that. And now all we need to do is attach our cable in there. And then we're just gonna press the quick attach button and close that off. And now our payload's all secure. Now it's important to know that when you are flying with a payload that you keep your cable or line out of the way of the drone and the propellers. When you are attaching anything to the drone, in particular fishing line, we do recommend tucking the line under the foot of the drone to keep it out of the way. It's also good practice to take note of the wind direction, so when we do take off, we know which way the line or cable will be blowing. Now before we take off, let's make sure our drone's in normal mode, as this is what we recommend when you're flying with any payload attached. All right, so now let's take off and gradually hover the drone up so our payload gets off the ground. And it's important to do this gradually so we minimize any stress or jerking on the drone. It's also good practice that when we do get up, let's hover the drone over the payload so when we do lift up, there's even less stress on the drone. Now that we're in the air, let's practice some gradual movements with the joysticks and just get used to that feeling of flying with a payload. Now the AeroPro has payload stability on by default and this is going to control acceleration and deceleration to minimise swinging. The drone's going to take longer to stop in this mode, but it's going to maximise its stability. So we always want to gradually accelerate and decelerate when we're flying with a payload and this is going to keep it as stable as possible. Now if we were to fly off really fast and stop suddenly, you'll see we'll get a lot of swinging motion with our payload. This is ultimately going to put more stress on your drone and drain the battery faster. So now that we've had a bit of a fly around with the payload, let's learn how to drop it. Now dropping the payload is super easy. All we need to do is press the payload release button on the front of our controller here. And that's it. Now when we are flying with the payload, it's important that we drop it before we land. That way we can avoid getting anything tangled up and caught in the propellers.